Hello everyone, my name is Jay, and today I'll be going over volume and shape. So, volume is the space taken up by an object. And it has a couple of different common units. If you've gone to the grocery store to buy milk, you've likely seen gallons. Or if you've gone to buy soda, you've likely seen liters. We can also express volume as a linear distance cubed, so meters cubed is a common one, and centimeters cubed is another common one, which is interesting because a centimeter cubed is actually also equal to a milliliter. So we've gone over volume, we've gone over its units, let's start calculating volumes for some shapes. So I have four shapes drawn here. The first one is a rectangular prism. For this, we'll use V sub R, which is equal to the length times the width times the height the side lengths of the rectangular prism. Next, we have a rectangular pyramid. And V sub P, or volume of the pyramid, is equal to 1 over 3, which is a constant, times length times width times height. Next, we have our cylinder. A cylinder has volume V sub C, which is equal to a constant pi times R squared, or radius squared, times h, which can be expanded to equal pi times r times r times h. Again, the product of three linear distances, and the radii represent the length and the width of that cylinder, respectively. So, finally, we can go on to our sphere. So, the volume of our sphere is equal to 4 over 3 times pi which is a constant, times the radius cubed. Or we can expand that to be 4 over 3 times pi times r times r times r. Again, the radii describe left to right radius is the length, the front to back is the width, and then if we go top to bottom and draw a third radius, that is a measure of height. So we have our four volume expressions, and now let's turn them into proportionality. So when we do this, we replace the equal sign with a proportional to sign, and we take out any constant. So for our rectangular prism, V sub R is proportional to no constant, so L times W times H. For our pyramid, V sub P is proportional to L times W times H as well, because the one third is a constant. Now we have our cylinder, so V sub C is proportional to R times R times H, because pi is a constant, but those radii represent length and width, so V sub C is actually also proportional to length times width times height. Finally, we have our sphere, so V sub S is proportional to R times R times R, because the 4 thirds pi is a constant, but those describe length, width, and height as well. So once again, V sub S is proportional to length times width times height. And this is the key proportionality of volume, is that volume is proportional to length times width times height. It's important to note that this only holds true when you're comparing objects of the same shape. So pyramids to pyramids or spheres to spheres, you cannot apply this proportionality when we are comparing, for example, a pyramid to a cylinder. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helps you in solving your pre-workshop problem.